David, welcome to the Digital Scene uh, Show here at uh, DB Expo 2009. Thank you. You're with uh, JVC. That's correct. And behind you, you've got a, a really killer 3D, uh, HD 3D monitor, right? That's correct. This is the GD 463D10, which is really our first and really the first mass-produced uh, available 3D monitor in the United States. It's a 46-inch monitor, uses circular polarization technology, and is capable of displaying uh, 3D images uh, to the home viewer. Now, this is uh, directed at the home viewer, but let's talk a little bit about independent filmmakers. You know, the hot topic right now is everybody wants to shoot 3D. Right. Um, they, you know, DreamWorks announced, right, that they're, they're doing everything in 3D now. So, what's the reality from a, uh, let's say, a monitoring perspective in, in production? Do you guys offer, can this be used in that? This is actually uh, the primary application for this model right now. The customers that we're selling to are companies that are actually producing 3D. It's a little expensive for the home, viewer, uh, sure. the home user, although it would work nicely in a home. Uh, but right now, with an absence of content being distributed, uh, you, it's really a chicken and egg scenario. Uh, fortunately, we do have plenty of customers out there producing 3D, so we're selling a lot of monitors into the production community just for that reason. I see. So the production community is using this as their, their production monitor to, to verify what, what they shot. They're basically. using this and for client review and for all kinds of things. Using it in the editing suite, using it in the uh, producer suite, I see. Uh, for client review, all, all kinds of things. Now you're saying the price point is a bit high right now, but do you see a point and how quickly will that point drop? It, it drops with mass production. We're only scheduled to make about 2,000 of these monitors this year. So. Uh, with that low volume, uh, obviously, uh, we can't get the price sure. down. But as the, the volume increases, when the demand increases, the price will drop accordingly. I see. Do you see the demand increasing from for the home user as well? Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with how the content is distributed. You see, uh, that's one of the problem areas. It's not just displaying 3D content and producing it. It's how do you get it to the home viewer. Our system here has really three distinct advantages over the other systems. One is that we can use very inexpensive polarizing glasses, not the shutter kind. Sure. These glasses you can give to four-year-olds at a birthday party so and not worry about them uh, getting right. broken. Right. A $300 pair of shutter glasses you wouldn't want to hand out to the kiddies. Uh, the other is the fact that it's a flicker-free display. There's not strobing that goes on between the left and the right eye. So it's a constant, pleasant, comfortable viewing. And the third, which I think is most important, is how we get the signal to the set. We can, we can compress a 3D image into either side-by-side -side or line-by-line uh, -line format and thus deliver it through conventional means of delivering HD content, either a standard Blu-ray disc without modifying the Blu-ray format. What we're showing here at the show is a Western Digital Media Player, which sells for $99. Uh, the files are on a little SD card, and we simply play them back onto the monitor. Uh, you can also stream it over the internet. So if you have... And you connected that through what kind of interface? HDMI. Just HDMI standard. Standard HDMI into the set. The side-by-side -side images in the HD frame are decoded into the line-by-line -line format that the uh, display produces, so your left and right eyes are getting the correct images right, simultaneously. Right, right. And what is the cost of this monitor? This monitor has a suggested list price of $89.99. Okay, so under 10 grand. Mm -hmm. So for, for even a medium size, even a small size production company, it won't break them. No, no, it's not going to break It's under 10 grand. I remember when the first LCD came out, it was $20,000 for the right. house. And you can use it for standard content as well. It's sure. a little expensive to watch regular HD, but right. if you need one monitor in the, uh, in the uh, confirmation suite or the producer's office, that's the monitor to use. And if people want to find out more information about it, what's the URL? The URL is uh, pro.jvc.com. We have a really helpful uh, 3D microsite that explains all of the technology, not just ours, but all the technology involved in uh, the display of both cinema as well as in a video display of 3D. Excellent. David, very good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.